everyone. How are you today? Well, I've had a special request from a dear friend of mine who wanted to do a workout session that targeted mostly the lower abdominals and the oblique muscles. So today I'm bringing you this little session and it's going to be like a bar method fusion to really work those muscles. Your abs are so important. When you have a strong core, this truly supports and keeps your body safe when you're doing any kind of activity that's involving your arms and legs. Uh, today we're gonna to really focus on your deep abs, your transverse abdominus. They're your thinnest layer of abdominal muscles and they are attached to your diaphragm only. So you have to breathe to work them and I'll rem remind you to do that. Also targeting the obliques, inner and external ones, and a little bit, we will get into the rectus abdominis, which is responsible for those gorgeous six pack muscles. So without further ado, let's get going. You do need a yoga mat, and then I have a towel that's folded up into thirds, and of course I've got my extra towel to wipe off the glow. Because it's hot here again today in Florida. All right, come and stand at the top of your mat, and just shrug your shoulders forward, up, down. Do that again. Big shrug. So you can loosen everything up. And now take the arms with you. So circle them. You can bend your knees a little bit. Keep everything loosey goosey to start off with. And then go the other way. So bring your arms up and go forward. Nice big breaths as you do that. All right, stand up tall, shake a hold of one wrist, really lift up, and then hinge over to the side. Open up your chest, look up to the side to release all down the other side of your body. You're stretching out your waist muscles. That's your oblique muscles right here. And then come up, change hands, and go the other way. You keep a little bend in your knees still if that feels good. And come on up, and then put your hands just on your lower back or your upper glutes, and lift up before you hinge back. Press your hips forward, just awakening your chest and your pec muscles here, and then come back up. All right, reach your arms up, take a deep breath in, and exhale, just hang forward. Nice and loose, guys. You can just shake your head out from side to side. Rock gently on the soles of your feet. And then take a hold of either elbow. And as you're here, you can gently play with your legs. Maybe start to straighten them a little bit if that works for you. Or you can keep a soft bend in your knees the whole time. Let go of your arms. And then walk your hands out. You're going to your first straight arm plank of the day. So get into a good position here. Straighten your arms, squeeze your seat, pull your abdominals up, and breathe. Exhale, exhale. All right, stay here. In plank, you're working so many muscles. The deep abs, your obliques, your rectus abdominis. You're building up mental stamina and strength as well. All right, push back to a downward facing dog. Pump your heels so that you can wake up the back of your leg. Get a nice stretch in your hamstring, your low back. Push both heels towards the floor now and come back to your plank position again. Re squeeze your seat. You've got to grip your glutes and pull your abs up in this position to get the most out of it. And then slowly. Lower down, chaturanga all the way down, nice and smooth, and then hover right at the bottom. Squeeze your seat, and now push back up to plank. Hold it there. You've got this. Push back into a downward facing dog. All right, pull your shoulders down your back. Moving back to a plank position again, go for it. Squeeze and hold it here. Press down with the palms of your hands. Chaturanga again, nice and slowly. Hover right at the bottom. And this time, lower down, uncurl your toes. And gently come up into a cobra. You can do a baby one, 
a full one or an upper dog if that suits you. Look left, look right, come to center, and just lower back down. Curl your toes under, come back to a straight arm plank position. Hold here. And now push back to a downward facing dog. Good, draw your shoulders down, make your neck nice and long. And again, look forward, come to your plank position. Just hold here. All right, bend your elbows diagonally back towards your torso. Avoid pointing them out to the side to protect your shoulders. And now do 24 inch push-ups. Ready, begin. Press down and up. Down, two. You can always come down onto your knees if you need to. Or just hold in a straight arm plank. Down six, seven, eight, nine, ten more. One, two, three, four, almost there, five, you've got this. Six, seven, eight, nine, you did it, come onto your knees. Slide your arms long in front of you for a puppy stretch. Reach your arms long, get your feet up nice and high. That's gonna stretch out your pecs. And then sit back on your heels and flip your palms up. Open your arms a little wider than your shoulders to give you the best stretch in your upper back. And then come and sit down. Wipe off the glow if you need to for our first abdominal exercise. In the bar method, this is called clam. Lie down all the way. And then cross your right thigh over your left. Sit your thighs shut, just like you're sitting in a chair. And lift your feet just off of the floor. Put your fingertips on opposite shoulders and point your elbows diagonally up towards the sky. Into counts, draw your chest up towards your legs and lower with control. Up for two, down for two, up, up, down. Now if you need support behind your head and neck, you can put your left hand gently behind it and your right hand on your knee. But avoid tugging with your hand that's behind your head. Keep gazing up to keep your neck long and your head in line with your spine. You've got three more big ones. Two, do one more, hold it at the top, really squeeze here. Your, this is a killer workout for your six pack muscles. Now, come and pass to finish. In, in, in. All right, you've got this, 20 more. One, two, getting a nice stretch in your back as you do this as well. 10 more. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, really switch legs. Cross over. Lift your feet just off the floor. Take your arm position again. In two counts, draw your chest up towards your legs. Lower back down. And you can bring your legs in a little bit, but make your abs do all the work. These concentric and eccentric movements help you to tone your abs. And then lengthen them out again so that they are strong, but flexible and lean. Got three more. Always put your right hand behind your head if you need to. Two. One more, hold it at the top. Now squeeze in tight, make it burn. Oh, my abs are on fire. All right, curl in faster, finish here. Curl in, in. Last 10. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Release. Bring your knees to your chest. Just roll on up because we've got some more push ups. Going to do 34 range. So come back into a good position. Place your hands under your shoulders. Re squeeze your seat. Pull your abs up. Ready? Here we go. Press down and push up. Down, two, down. Three. Push-ups are a great weight-bearing exercise. 
They really promote great bone health and strength. You've got 20 more. One, two, I hope you're hot and sweaty like me already. Four, keep pushing. Seven, eight, nine, ten left. Then you get some stretches. That's two, three, four, five, almost there. Seven, use your breath. Exhale, nine, you did it. Do another puppy stretch. Reach your arms long in front of you. Get your seat up nice and high. Woo, it's hot here, guys. All right, and then sit back on your heels. Turn your palms up. There we go, hug your chin. All right, breaks over. Now to move to an exercise called oblique leg lift. This is gonna target right down the side of your body. All right, so I like to use a folded towel here. And you might just want to in half just to cushion your hips. Come and lie on one side. And you've got some options with your arms here. So you can lie down with your head on your arm. You can be here with your head in your hand. Or this is the most challenging position up here on your elbow. Be sure it lines up right underneath your shoulder. Stack your legs on top of each other. Squeeze your glutes and draw your legs forward a little bit. So you put all of the effort into your abdominals and keep it out of your back. Grip your seat tightly. And just rest your free hand on the floor with your fingertips pointing up towards your shoulder. In, in, not feet, into count. Lift your feet off the floor, lift up to two, both of them, and lower back down. Squeeze, pull your abs in, and lower. You're gonna feel that workout down the side of your body. Ooh, it's intense, especially if you're up on your elbows like this. You've got four more here, and then a small reset. Two, ooh, keep gripping your glutes. You've got one more, and lower your feet back down. If it's too much, you can always just lift your top leg and work that only. Next set, lift your feet off the floor. Do a small bend and stretch of your legs. Little bend, stretch. Little bend, stretch. Every time you stretch your legs, re-squeeze your seat muscles. Like to keep your neck long, avoid sinking into your shoulders. Keep that nice posture. You've got eight more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can reset if you would like to. Last set on this side. Lift your legs back up. Regrip everything and lift your legs up quickly. Up an inch. Up, up for an added challenge. You can place your hand behind your head and do little crunches, teeny tiny, towards your hip. Crunch, crunch. Oh my goodness. My abs, my obliques, my lower back. Everything's working so hard. Last 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Release. Come on up. I'm gonna break up sides with something else. Now, this is where you might want to fold your towel into first. Come and lie down on your mat, and your towel will be a little support underneath your glutes here. All right, lie down, lift your legs up, point your toes up. You don't have to straighten your legs if you don't want to, but point your feet nice and hard. Options with your arms, you can place your hands behind your head, or behind opposite shoulders. Now think about tilting your pelvis and press your low back down. Do you feel how your abs contract right away when you do that? Hold on to that sensation, then stretch your legs quickly. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Lift your head and shoulders just off the ground. Keep looking up at the ceiling and add a little curl there. Stretch curl, 
Keep your legs hips to the front. Squeeze your bottom. Pull your abs up. Roll your shoulders down your back. Now maybe shift your weight forward a little bit. Yeah, you're gonna feel full engagement all around your torso. Exhale. Exhale. You've got this. Add a little conscious squeeze of your seat as you are here. Squeeze and exhale. Squeeze and exhale. Five more counts. One, two, woo, three, four. One more. Let's stretch it. Got your puppy stretch. Woo, we are burning some calories, people. Get your seat up high. And then sit back on your heels. We're gonna do one more set of ab work. This is flat back, pendulum curl. And I'm gonna turn a little bit, just so that you can see the angle of my legs. Same as we did for straight leg clam, and for scissors, you are going to need your towel. And I like mine folded in three. Gives me a little extra lift. All right, so lie down. Place your support underneath your glutes, lift your legs up. This time you'll keep your head down. Take your fists and instead of going right out to the side, angle your elbows or your arms down on a diagonal. Tilt your pelvis, contract your ab muscles, and you can keep a little bend in your knees if that's more comfortable for your hips. Into count, bend your legs in half, and then take them over to the left. Straighten your legs and pull them back overhead. Then for two, to the left. We're just going to one side, pull back up. So bend for two, lower, extend, bring back up. Keep going guys, just know it's okay if your right hip pops up as long as your rib cage and your shoulders stay grounded on the floor. Now really press down with your right hand as you pull your legs back overhead, you're gonna feel your oblique muscles working again here for you. Stretch. Let's do one more on this side. Then to the left. Stretch them out and pull with your abs. Good. Bring your knees to your chest for a little reset. And we'll go to the right. Take your legs back up. Tilt your pelvis. Press down with your low back. Bend your legs for two. Bend. Take them to the right, extend them, and then pull and press with your left hand. Bend for two, over to the right, extend, and pull back up. And to the right, extend, and pull. Now just go to whatever range of motion feels good for you. You don't have to go as big as I am if that's too much for your low back, all right? It has to be all about your abs, so listen to your body. We're almost there, Pete. And pull and push. One more time, to the right, extend, and pull. Bring your knees into your chest. Woo, that feels good, right? Keep your thighs close to you, lower your knees, over to the right, just take that towel out, throw it to one side. There we go, then you get a nice stretch for your obliques and your back muscles. Lift up and over the other way. Ah, release. All right, keep on turning on the thighs. and come into a straight arm plank position. Yep, we're back there again. Ooh, I bet you feel stronger now though than you did in the beginning of class. Push up into a downward facing dog. Press your heels and your shoulders down. Push down with the palms of your hands and come back to a plank position. Bend your elbows diagonally back towards your torso and press down quickly for 30. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, 20 more. Keep breathing. Five, seven, nine, almost there. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You made a push up into a downward facing dog. Woo! Three, three, three. Look forward, come back to a plank position. Slowly lower down, chaturanga. Hover, and then release down on curl your toes. Push up into an upward dog or a cobra. Oh, feel that nice stretch in your abs now. And lower back down. Curl your toes down, then coming back to a straight on plank. Up you come, woo, go on abs, you got this. And then push up to a downward dog. Walk your feet towards your hands. Just hang nice and loose. And very slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. Roll your shoulders back and out. You did it! I just feel crusher for your abs. Hope you liked it. Let me know what you thought. Enjoy the rest of your day.